拍拍乳牛的头，他是四十九岁的乌克兰诺农谢尔盖，在乌克兰南部拥有这座小农场。That is Sergey's house there, just in the distance, and there is an unexploded rocket that landed this close, landed here about a week ago. Did you hear that rocket land? Everything happened before my eyes. 谢尔盖住在乌克兰南部战火前线一个有五百人口的小村庄，这里竟然也成为俄军的攻击目标。We were covered with dust, just dust and shrapnel all the way here. I fell to the ground, crawling, not feeling my legs or arms. 回想起逃命过程，还是心有余悸，就怕俄军再度轰炸，波及他的乳牛。他想出了一个好点子。So these are Sergey's six dairy cows, and if you notice. He has them spread out. He wants to separate them so they don't all get killed in one strike. 另外，乌克兰农夫克里文科的生活也受到战火影响。It's been unfortunate for all of us. Basically, everything has shut down, and we aren't working now. 原来现在正值向日葵的播种季节，就怕农地被俄军炮火摧毁，农夫们根本无法耕作。So this is the storage area where they keep their sunflower seeds. But they haven't been able to sell it because of the war. 联合国表示，俄乌战争造成二战以来最大粮食危机，因为乌克兰跟俄国两个交战国小麦出口量加起来就占全球的百分之三十。If the Russians come back, do you want to fight again? What else can we do? I'll take my pitchfork and go fight. I will defend my village until the end. 谢尔盖对记者秀出跟俄军打架留下的伤痕，就算俄军再回来攻击他，可是一点也不怕。东森新闻国际中心综合报道。